SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hey guys, welcome back to another juicy episode of The Juice. Yes, I'm your girl, Miss DSF, and I'm here at Extraordinary World, right here in the heart of Victoria Island. Today on my couch, I have this young fly guy who I definitely say is one of the faces of new school rap in Nigeria. He's fun, he's cheeky, he's young, he's a little swag daddy. You can't even see your daughter and ask her who's your daddy. Okay, so last year we heard your hit single, Jagger Band, literally took over the world by storm. It was blown up in parties, clubs, TV. Everyone was dabbing, everyone was milli rocking, dabbing, giving them to Jagger Band. Like I saw some special dabs in, in Lagos clubs. Can you yeah. show me a little dab? Eh? Yeah. Your little. Alright, alright. Hey, I see some real <laughs> special dance in Nigeria. I see people do. You know, get, get their real let's 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 not talk about the, <laughs> the special dance. We won't go there. But how do you feel about that song? Is that what you expected? Did you expect it to take over the world like that? Well, I mean, as as a young artist, by default, you know, you just have it at the back of your mind that any song you're putting out is going to be that breakout hit song. So. Right. By default, that was already what I had in mind. I was like, okay, this is a song that's going to, you know, change the whole game and everything. And when it actually happened and changed it, it just it surpassed everyone's expectations. Yeah. So, Jagaban, right? Is Tinubi your uncle or is there some kind of link? What 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 made you name your song Jagaban and be so? I mean, it's just, you know, the word, like, on its own, without even knowing the meaning, like, once you hear the word Jagaban, it's just like, it's, it sounds like, it sounds heavy. There's presence to it, so I mean, even before the day I had that session, I always had it in mind that okay, I want to do a song titled Jagaban and stuff. So it just so happened that when the producer made that beat, that's the way he produced Jagaban. The, as soon as I heard the first progression, Jagaban just kept ringing in my head. Like, All right, okay. so for people that don't know, what does Jagaban mean to you, and what were you trying to achieve with using that word? Well, originally, is Jagaban is of Aosa origin. It actually means leader of warriors and it was a chieftaincy title given to Bola Metinbu when he was, you know, a young senator. So over the years, a lot of people just interpret it anyway. Jagaban basically is like a big man. Everyone's like, oh, Jagaban, big man. So my own interpretation of the word is if you ball hard and you walk hard, you walk as hard as you ball, like Jagaban. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then you won the headies, you won the headies, congrats earlier this year. Yeah, you won the headies, rookie, of, rookie yeah, of the year. How does that feel? I mean, you know, being nominated in itself, is, it just it feels great to see that, okay, you actually put out this amount of work and not just yourself, not just your fans, but the industry itself recognizes your efforts and everything. So. As soon as I got like the shortlist, I was like one of the final nominees, and I was like, okay, I have already like gotten a win because to me, being nominated at the head is already a win. Yeah. And I won the award. How long? How long have you actually been rapping? Mm, I've been rapping ever since I was a child, like so. very young. Not my own raps, but, like right. I was like a kid that knew every popular song out there. I was listening to Fifty Cent, Bone Thugs, and how many Fat Joe, Willie Chris, Drake, right. Kanye West, and blah blah blah. blah, blah. Right. Professionally, I have been doing music since 2012, putting out my own music since 2012. And I got signed in 2012, put out my first official single in 2012, my first video in 2013. Then Which I one was your first single? Smile on Me. Smile on Me. Yeah. And then you went on to Pass Me. Pass Me. Yeah, I released a bunch of singles. You know, I was still in the growing phase and I was just, you know, trying to break through and blow. Mm -hmm. But. I took some time off, you know, my label just started now, Tiny Entertainment, I was a young label, I was a young artist, so they went back to the drawing board, I took some time off, got into school, and 2015, I guess I was like, okay, I think it's time, you know. I heard you're a uni lag boy. Yes, I'm a uni lag, lag boy. guy. 
you know. So like, what are you studying? Marine biology. Wow. It's it's nothing fancy. Oh, it's not it's not that on, deep. Whoa. Trust me. It's oh. just the name. The name is just really because a lot of people hear marine biology and they're like, oh wow, that sounds how like you, some elaborate. One side you're rapping and then once marine biology, like how like. Well, the thing is, when I was in secondary school, yeah, to show how much I didn't know I was going to do music, I was a science student. Oh. So, like, most of the qualification I got from secondary school is based on science. So, when I was going into university, I couldn't do anything that was in science. So, if I had my way, I would have been, like, I'm doing theater arts and all oh, that okay. stuff. Yeah, but... But are you enjoying it, though? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it's, 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 it also provides exposure to, you know, like, a different side, because mm -hmm. the music on its own is something that I am exposed to. So that's like, it covers up for me not studying art. Right. So me doing science is just like to balance everything out. So you're book smart and street smart. That's it? Book smart. <laughs> Don't know. All right, cool. <laughs> okay. So move on, let's move on, let's move on. Let's talk about your name. Your real name is Demilade. Olua Demilade. Translation means <laughs> let me translate this right god crowned me which yeah, is a lovely Olu name Demilade, yeah. how do we go from demilade to yc <laughs> how where did we make that transition ah uh, man so look, like a lot of people actually see yc and they're like okay what does yc mean and he's yeah. like You're there was a period in my life where anyone that asked me what's yc i'll be like no that's my real name yummy christopher wow <laughs> so i was just having a ball but it doesn't have anything to do with any of my real names. I'm just like, I'm a very, very playful person. So I tend to, you know, just. So you just plucked YC out of the sky. Where is the, where did they come from? That's how no, like in, Initially, initially, like growing up, I had this minor accident as a kid where I hurt myself. I cracked my wrist and I was wearing like a bandage to school and all the kids were like laughing at me, like, ah, you broke it. And I was like, no, my arm was cracked. And they started calling me cracker. I was like, no, don't call me that. I said, call me crack, because crack sounds a lot more gangster. And I was listening to a lot of Fat George at the time. So crack became young crack. Then I got my record deal, and the label was like, no, nobody's going to want to endorse or young work crack. with anybody that has a drug-related name. Mm. So I had to change crack to Carter. Carter being crazy advanced rapper terrorizing every other rapper. Oh, <laughs> I like it. Then, from YC, I think I, when I went through, uh, I say I did some rebranding and stuff. That's when I came out with the dreads and I had to add two E's to YC, so it would be a lot more distinct because there are a lot of Y and C's out there. So, YC okay. E. So I think we get it now. So we get the YC and I like that so much. Yeah. 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 Man, this shit just crazy. Niggas ain't gonna let it drop, baby. This shit don't stick. Do the unbox like you swallow the dick. Why all these niggas be up in my shit? Don't you know that it's healthy to my own bitch? All right, you sue me. You run in your mouth cause your chick didn't pursue me. You talking about groupies. My G understand. I'll be down when they do me. See? There's an issue that I'd like to address or find out a little juice about. And it's the situation with you and Vector. Is there still... And Vector is cool. Me and Vector are cool. So the beef is squashed. There was never any beef. Okay. So if there's never... Does that mean you two will collaborate or...? Yeah, I mean, definitely. You know, Vector is one of the, like, most respected rappers in the industry. So, I mean, me being a young rapper, I know most of my fans and, you know, a lot of hip-hop fans who want to see the new school and the, you know, one of the veterans do something together, so I mean, it's going to be cool. That would actually be really good. New school, old school vibe. I get yeah. it. Cool, cool, cool. On a lighter note, is there a um, Mrs. YC or a, <laughs> a young class swag mommy or is there somebody special we can be looking out for? Hello? Why are you looking Hello? at me? I'm here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what are you saying? Yes. Okay, yeah, like the music is, you know, it's really, it's doing like really great, like. No, it's, it's... <laughs> no. Is there a special lady? I have. You have? Mm, dreams and goals and aspirations. <laughs> so I, I mean, think it's... basically right now, right now, what, what I really, what I'm trying to do right now is just focus on the music because it's, it's really, really hard to, you know, like give time to anything else, mm. so. Do you find that your, your, I know that like your life is very private. 
like no one really knows much about your personal life do you feel like you want to keep your life on the down low because there's so much drama with relationships in the public at the moment or is it just you're not with anybody and it's just whatever i mean no even even the size of the whole thing like even before i became an artist and before i became popular i'm someone that i just like to keep my business my business because mm. you know you, you you shouldn't like put everything out there because when everything's out there then it's i don't i think it loses the special value it should have so i mean even whenever i get in a relationship or even if i'm in a relationship it's not one of those things i'm going to be like putting in your faces but unless you, until i get married and when i get married and i'm like okay yeah this is my wife yeah but then that would be weird if we're just like okay why see single woman the next minute bella and i draw weddings no like you have what? to at least let people know that yes i have a woman okay and uh, when we get engaged i'm gonna be like yeah it's official i'm getting married tomorrow <laughs> Do you see yourself getting married anytime soon? Uh, if I make like a billion dollars this year, I'll get married next year. Really? So yeah. that's the only thing holding you back? Yeah, financial comfortability. Alright, I got you. I got you. You got me? I got you. Will you marry me? Uh-huh. Good question. <laughs> this is your mommy. <laughs> a little birdie told me that a young person has recently signed you <laughs> a young person by the name of whiskey and by your love i'm guessing that that's true uh no <laughs> you know there's there's been a lot of speculation i don't even know how like you know all this news gets out there but you know wiz and i are really cool people wiz is someone that's been very supportive yeah. he's been you know very supportive with my music and stuff like I think last year I was at his industry night and I performed on stage with him. So, yeah, that's great. I remember but, when he brought you out, the, the crowd went crazy. Like, they went, Jennifer! Literally, they went crazy. Okay, I wouldn't go that far. But Underwear was thrown on stage. I wouldn't go that far. But they went, they literally lost it. So, you're telling me it's not true that Whiskey has signed you? Nope. So, if I hear in a few months that it, it's happened, then. Then maybe it happened after. <laughs> but I mean, Wiz, Wiz and I are cool, you know, I'm I'm trying to get like, you know, a couple songs because my EP is ready, so I'm moving forward to working on my album, so there are a lot of collaborations that I'm trying to get, just like, there are some people that you just have to get on your album. Yeah. Yeah, cool. so. Let me just ask you, this hairstyle, every other guy that I see on the street has this hairstyle, what is this about? Like, what, 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 what is this? Well, for me, it was just, you know, I just wanted to do something different with my hair. Look, because at the time I was off music, I was just like, man, coming back, I think it's going to be like, I'm coming back as a totally different artist. So I was like, okay, what could I do? And I just, at the time my hair was falling, I just started twisting it. And before you know, it's just, it just like became this. Are you going to leave them to grow like really long? Or this yeah, thing? I mean, that's, that's just, I just, I really don't know what I'm going to do with this hair. It's just been growing and it's, it's been like getting that. longer and longer. Sure. And shout out to all the people I inspire, you know. Like, there's a whole ton of people out there sure. with the YC look and <laughs> the artificial and the original. This is the original song. Much love to you guys, man. Okay. Well done, Ras. <laughs> Alright, so we come to the end of the interview. It wasn't that bad, was it? Nah, no, nah, no. Nah. nah? Can we play a yeah. game or two before you go? Uh, okay, again. Alright, so you're a rapper, right? And rapper is freestyle. Can you freestyle? Mm, yeah. Yes. All right. So the game we want to play is you're gonna freestyle, and I'm gonna throw some words at you, and you have to include the words in your freestyle. Are we ready? Hmm. Taking off the glass. It's getting <laughs> serious. He's taking off the glass. He's shaking the. This is when it's about to. It's turning up. Okay. No, no keep them off. Okay. Yeah. So it's, he's tied back the hair. It's getting really, really hot in here. All right. Let's go. Uh, so the juice. Mm. Okay. The truth is. It's the juice. I got the juice. But my moves is not foot loose. Sip juice till we catch crews. Sip juice, mix it with some booze till the boys can't move. Ooh, condo. <laughs> condo or condo? Tell me which is it? Cause I don't even know, but I can still kick it. She want to kick it in my condo and get the condo and then she get the condo. <laughs> you already know that. So, <laughs> you know when he's entering and you're feeling ah. oh, no not finished focus hey. focus on facebook they used to focus and now i blew up it's like magic hocus pocus oh. 
kick game like White Lotus. <laughs> <laughs> Keep brush going my, now. Keep brush going. my shoulders. <laughs> Forty-five million. Hey, forty-five million. Forty-five million. If I get forty-five, I need forty-five billion. Hey. Forty-five billion will give me like five children. Hey. Change that money. It shouldn't be Nigerian. I think my dollars. <laughs> Pop my colors. Spend it in pound. <laughs> Shut the whole town. <laughs> and the winner is hey. the winner is make some noise. <laughs> nah, that was dope. And that wasn't planned. That actually was not planned. Oh, I literally right, just right. threw random. Well done. You got this. Yeah. You got the juice. I feel That's you. That's why I'm on the juice. Let's get back to the oh, world. Back yeah. to the swag. Yeah, yeah. Chill. Yeah. All right. So on this show, we asked the artists to come in with a gift for their fans. And I know you didn't come in with anything today. So I know you wore this hat here today. I'm going to take this. And give it to what, one what, lucky what fan. What if I to give something else to my fans? What else? My phone. Oh yeah, bring it. Uh -huh. I, I said, what them. if? What well, if, if you want to, we can make that happen. If, what if? We can make it happen. What if I want to give out a strand of my hair? Like, what are you there's a friend out there that could like cherish it and put it in like a box. And then what if they use it for other things? Then what? Yeah, right. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so I think we'll take the hat for now. So yeah. if you want to win this hat, make sure you stay tuned and follow us on social media so you find out the questions. So in Dani TV on Instagram and Twitter, and subscribe to our channel and keep it locked. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Thank what, you so what, much. What's, what's, what's in the yeah, 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 yeah? It just adds salt to the rice, you know. So what if what if you're it. hiding from someone but you want to really rock at the same time? You just you just inhale it and you just ah. Oh, you know, you just. I get don't. It. I like, don't it's know. Just, I don't just. Ah, mm, 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 mm. Thank you for coming in, YC. It's been a pleasure. It's, it's been, been a pleasure. pleasure. I will be looking out for your EP in June. Yeah. Electric. And package. don't be a saint. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean that's 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 the new meaning. You know, like big big shout out to Shay Shay because I mean putting out an EP that has like so many fire songs on it. It's an electric package. Mm. Yeah, so my EP is definitely. We'll be watching. An electric package. We hope he's just talking about the music, by the way. <laughs> yeah. Don't leave me hanging, please. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, my name is Files, aka Files the Bad Guy. Well, in today's lesson, I will teach you how to subscribe to the Indani TV channel. All you have to do is click on this. So simple, straightforward.